up in that big fluffy blanket and just eat donuts all day. It's a lot of cholesterol. <laughs> Today but. I didn't say anything for the starter, which is surprising. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, this is the Live in 5 show. I'm Maya. And I'm Sean. Are you a frantic gamer? Are you having problems with your mouse, which is as old as your parents? Worry no more. The Logitech MX518 mouse will heal your gaming problems. Get ready to win that battle royale. Vroom vroom. Hear the roar of the new fastest engine in today's Hot Topics. We told you before that slime was in the forecast. Stay tuned to find out what areas or who got hit with it. So a big baller brand has been shut down and we got news on Cal Ramsey. We've got all this and more right after the break. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. Hey Trojans, on March 27th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. we have a home game against Haskell. Good luck! Tomorrow, our sports teams are going up against Haskell. There will be the boys' soccer team and the girls' basketball team playing after school. 
Get your game faces on and cheer on your fellow Trojans. You have no idea how talented our fellow peers are, but maybe during our sixth period talent show, you'll get an idea. There is a talent show that will be happening during sixth period tomorrow. Our very own PTSA is hosting a family movie night that will take place on April 12th at 6.30 p.m. So get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy a movie with friends and family. There will be a snack bar which will open at 5 p.m. And if you choose to attend, you must have a parent chaperone with you. Tickets will be pre-sold today. Again, family movie night is on April 12th, so we'll see you all there. We have an MUN event coming soon. April 30th will be our next MUN conference at Washington Middle School. Let's win, Trojans. And that wraps it up for the Tets Off play-by-play. -play. Relax, what are you worrying about? Welcome back. It's time to get into today's hot topics. The Logitech GMX518 is a classic gaming mouse that is making a comeback. Come back. The Logitech GMX518 is one of the most beloved game per peripheral, peripheral for PC gamers ever since it originally came out. This classic gaming mouse is a USB mouse that features a 7 foot long cord, a DPI ranging between 400, 800, 1600, 3000, 3,200 and 6,400, eight programmable buttons and five possible profiles, say directly on this mouse. This mouse can be sold on Amazon for $60. The new Swedish hypercar just might be the most fastest car in the world. This car is roughly around $3 million and can go up to 300 miles per hour. This car hasn't yet been approved because it is still going through its development stage. There was a call car called the Agera RS and it went 278 miles per hour on a Nevada highway in 2017. But the new Swedish hypercar is attempting to beat that. The Agera is powered by a V8 engine based on the Ford modular engine block and fit with the twin turbochargers which generates a maximum power output of 960 PS. Floyd May Mayweather has this car and he is a celebrity. Why don't you have one? Do you have that superpower to guess that phrase? Let's check out today's phrase in today's segment of Guess That Phrase. Guess this. Oh, I'm holding it. Hold on. Do or do not three, three. 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 Oh, dude, uh, there's trick. Bro, to be honest, bro, I don't even know, bro. Hey, balls. <laughs> so, do or do not. I don't know. Do or do not tray sate. Is that Chinese? Do or do not tray DNA. Y'all can't read. It says do or do not. There is no try. Y'all are just. That's hot. Yes. Yes, this. Do you know the way? Do do it. Do oh do do or do not. There is no try. Do or do not. You are a try hard. I am Carmen. I'm Molly. Do or do not. There is no try. Not be gone. Guess this. What? 
sis. So give me the answer. I'll yeah. give you a hint, it's Yoda. What? <laughs> Weeb! Call me! What? The answer Seven, is, eight, I don't nine. know. I don't know. Give me the answer. Do it or not, there is no try. That's how I live my life. This weekend marked another epic Kids' Choice Awards, and I was super blessed to be to be able to attend. Some of my favorite moments included the big intro for Aladdin, when, with Will Smith descending from the ceiling. Oh man, that seems cool. And who could have, who could first forget the slimiest moment when Chris Pratt and show host and the uh, <laughs> show host DJ Khaled got slimed. Mm -hmm. Winners of the night included Ariana Grande, Jojo Siwa, Chris Pratt, and Fuller House for Best Comedy TV Show. My evening was topped off with a backstage interview with fashion designer Kevin May, which will be featured on a future segment of SFWS. Okay, I'm, I, I can't wait for, for <laughs> that. But do you have... Did your wishes get answered or did the genie leave you hanging? We will be waiting for your reply on Tetsoft CA. But for now, let's pass the mic to sports. Good morning, children. Welcome to Sports Zone. I'm Shakir. And I'm Raiden. So, for sports, big baller brand, y'all know, Lonzo Ball, LeVar Ball, Lamella Ball, all the ball. All right, so look, they got shut down after, I feel like, the dumbest exchange of money ever. Uh, $2.4 million. LeVar Ball did a, an exchange with a felon that owed $2.4 million, but he gave that to LeVar Ball. And that's a part of the company, so they shut down the company for good. And LeVar Ball said that he's becoming his own man. Uh, he doesn't want his dad getting involved in anything with him again. So, we'll see what happens with them. Uh, uh, moving on to some other NBA news. Um, Booker, uh, which is a great player for Phoenix Suns at the age of 22, um, broke the records. Uh, third in franchise history, he scored 59 points. Uh, this is uh, after the two year anniversary of his 70 point game, which is a day after, so that's crazy. He has scored 70 points and uh, 59 points for his team. And he's only at the age of 22, so yeah. Kyle Ram, he returned to start at the at NYU in the 1950s. In the 1950s, and went on to play and broadcast for the New York Knicks. Died yesterday. He was 81. Yesterday. All right. So, um, also for NFL, dude, Rob Gronkowski has retired from the Patriots. So, thank God the Patriots gonna lose this time. I hope so. You went for him last time. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I went for him last yeah. time. They still got the super squad. I don't know why people thought the Rams were going to win. But. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. Let's go over to World News. Bye. Right. The cruise ship was rescued on Sunday in Molde Harbor, Western Norway, after spending days stranded at sea. As they sailed off, the Viking Sky Cruises engine had failed, causing it to be set adrift in the middle of a huge storm with 26-foot waves and wind gusts at 23 miles per hour. This caused ceiling panels in the ship to fall, furniture to move around, and icy water coming through the ships by broken windows. Rescue teams had airlifted 479 people after the ship was left in the stormy seas on Saturday with more than 1,300 people on board. Many of the passengers were being tossed around by the winds and waves for 20 hours after sending a distress signal. Luckily, at 10 a.m. on Sunday, three out of the four of the ship's engines started working again, leading the ship to carry the rest of the remaining passengers dry, to dry land, accomplished with by two supply ships and one tug assist vessel. With 
20 of them in the hospital, a hospital being treated with poor injuries. The rest of them were safely rescued and returned back to their homes. This is why I'm afraid of cruises and sometimes even planes, although no, no, I go like, yeah, true. there's but, anything that can happen. But this is a good thing though, because like, there's been like so many boats, like the Titanic and everybody, where so many PP people died oh. because there wasn't enough safety boats. Mm -hmm. But now, it shows the improvement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now it's time to check out today's FYI. What do you call a baby kangaroo? A joey, a doe, a king, or a baby? Take five. You call a baby kangaroo a joey. Now it's time for Did You Know with Tommy. <laughs> Hello. So our guest today is Kylie. So Kylie, Hi. what is your talent? Hmm. Well, I've done Hebrew before, but this time it's a Hebrew song. Although I think I don't have the right mic for this, but okay. Would you like to sing? Sure. Okay. Melusha. And if you want, I can translate. Okay. It's, it means, et chayim he is, like, it's a tree of life. Mm -hmm. The entire thing means it's a tree of life to them that hold fast to it and all of its supporters are happy. There's also hand motions, but I'm not going to do that because, nah. So, nah? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Blue. So, uh, where'd you learn the language? Hebrew school. Uh -huh. Oh, Hebrew school. And camp, he, he, and summer camp. Hebrew school. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, can't say. Um. Yeah. yeah. Nice singing. Thanks. Do you have any other things you could do? Uh, trying to think. I don't know. <laughs> Me either. <either. coughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, I, I, if I was an egg, I'd take a crack at it, but I don't know if I can tell a good yolk. Huh? <laughs> I got mixed up. Wait, what? I, I got You got me confused. I, yolk. If I was an egg, I'd take a good crack at it, but I don't think I'd tell a good yolk. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today, and we'll see you real back here tomorrow morning.